So, uh, adventure time from whatever vacation yeah. it was Thanksgiving. on. Thanksgiving! Yeah. Cornucopia, yay! It has come back for this week in a series of four episodes. Monday Hansa. through to Friday. Skip today for Monday, some reason. Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, Thursday, no episodes because of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Day. Their mm. schedule's very sporadic, I, I still think. The cornucopia. Yes. Um, That's so clever. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I haven't seen that episode. I just watched, um... Uh, what was it? What episode? Uh, The Dentist. That was the last one I watched. Oh, that was weird. That is the last one. Oh, okay. That's the last one. Yeah, so... I don't... Pro here has some choice words about that one. Uh, we're not going to get too much into the episodes. I don't want to talk about it episode by episode because we're here for fucking ages. Wait, should we just bring uh, up like our favorites, maybe? Yeah. Oh, so, my, yeah, I, the Prismos. But all of them are my favorites. Okay, just pick one. <laughs> I can't. Prismo is back. She just go around in a circle and... Like... No. So I think uh, they were all uh, very good. It was at a very high quality adventure time. I think the kind we're used to, you know. Not the mm-hmm. shit like Princess Day or... Fire and ice, uh, oh, whatever water. it's called, Earth and water, and the Bird King, or whatever it's called. That was oh, that was I didn't like terrible. that. Terrible. Um, they all offered something very different, and very creative. So, like Jake the Brick was basically an Attenborough Adventure Time. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was um, nice. What's uh, it's it's all Jake or something. Everything's, everything's Jake. Jake. Yep. That was everything's his Futurama. Jake. Everything's Jake. <laughs> that was his Futurama. Like, yeah. Joey Tedesco said on his Facebook, everything's Billy West. <laughs> yeah. Basically what awesome. <laughs> So, yeah, so uh, let's uh, move it around. So, um, Shalani. Um, well, I like, I like Is That You, because Prismo's back. Oh, yeah. That, that was yeah. Awesome. Again, very, very creative, witty episode. Well, it, it mind-fucked me, because I was just like, what yes. the hell did I just watch? Mm. Pretty much every episode of Adventure Time ever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, mostly. <laughs> okay. no, uh... um, I, I don't know, uh, Sylvia? <laughs> oh, it's going to be tough. I love them all. Um, I'm going to have to say dentist. Really? <laughs> just because if... <laughs> Because it just felt like season one again, and then they went a little bit into Jake's past again, which was really interesting. But it really felt like a season one episode with adventure and stuff again. Yeah, I agree. And the humor. Yeah. And and Tiffany just getting what he deserved. Is this Tiffany (laughs) a he, then? Tiffany. (laughs) He he got, he had deserved what he got. Because I, I, before, like, I found out he was uh, a he, I thought it was just like, a girl that looked. Oh no, he's a boy. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he is. A, he wa- Tiffany is a boy. That he was. Like he was girl. Jake's friend, and he wants to be Jake's friend again. But Finn took Jake away after he was born. As you may know, Jake used to be a criminal. So yeah. he used to run a gang, and Tiffany was in it. He's Tiffany's the most attached to Jake. Okay. Okay. So. Um, Curtis. Um, my favorite was probably Is That You? It was probably like, I don't know, it brought back another character. So that was Prismo, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And um, I thought it was just really creative out of all of them. I thought they were all pretty good, but that was just the standout one in my opinion. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do we think of Finn's new sword? Oh, that's cool. No. I think it's all design. I miss his grass sword. I know, my his grass sword was my favorite too. Yeah, same to <laughs> be honest. It was so cool. Well, yeah, because it kind of like wrapped around. Yeah, that was cool. But the curse is not gone, so hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, George? Uh, uh, I've only seen, uh, I've only seen three of the four. I haven't finished, uh, Dentist yet. But of the ones I've seen, the only real one I love, really, really liked was Everything, just, Everything's Jake, and that's partly because it was just a lost uh, Futurama episode. It involved voice actors, writing, and heart. Seriously, yeah. if you look at that, movie, that episode structurally, it is basically a Futurama episode. And you know what? It was one of the few times I actually watched a new Adventure Time episode and actually made me laugh more than once. 
months. And I think that's partly because one, it's Billy West and he's doing, uh, he did the Farms work and he did the Fry. Again, it reminded me a lot of Futurama, so I think that's partly why I liked it so much. Uh, the other three I thought were actually pretty decent overall. Uh, Jake the Break was actually pretty, was a, was a nice little contrast of like a different kind of like a look at narration a little bit. Yeah. And it was actually pretty cool. Uh, uh, is that you? Uh, it kind of gave me another bit of a small bit of a tangent headache because it was reminding me a little bit too much of another thing I recently saw. I'm not going to say it because it kind of spoils the ending of it, but just, uh, he used but them. anyway, it was cool. Like, it was kind of cool seeing how they tie in uh, how Prismo is back and how the time travel kind of thing works in the parallel the minute. Okay, my brain hurts again. <laughs> Alright, uh, anybody yeah, else want to weigh in? I've uh, always yo. thought that Prismo always kind of sort of reminded me of Christopher Walken in a way. <laughs> I, I, I can see that. I can kind of see that actually. Huh. Huh. You're kind of right. Well, else, uh, the, Pearl, you wanted to say something? Inflections. Uh, uh, I'm going to be as honest as I could have never been in my life. Of all the four episodes, everything yeah. Jake is the lesser of the evil. Because the dentist is... The dentist can't sincerely, without a doubt, go fuck itself! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't even understand. <laughs> I lost to it, your honesty. <laughs> that... <laughs> what? Holy shit, I've never been more angry in my whole fucking life. Go on, have, have a little rant, Proto. <laughs> the census can pretty much be the worst episode of Adventure Time I've seen in, whole, in all my entire life. What episode the again? The plot really? was boring. The, so the plot was so boring, I was literally going to sleep. Lucy! Fucking lawless was wasted in this episode. I, I was expecting some. I was expecting something great from her, and what did I get? She's pretty much a cameo in this episode. And the fight scenes. Oh my fucking god, the fight scenes. So they're so boring. They're so bland, and that's too because the soundtrack is so fucking forgettable. I don't know who was in charge of this goddamn soundtrack, but I want his goddamn head on my fucking table tomorrow morning. And that bitch, Tiffany! Fuck! <laughs> 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 that was a good run. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, bro. I made it that bad. I'm not done yet. I'm not done oh, yet. Go on, go on. That was a third strike. That was a third strike. I'm done trying to get into the show. I am done. This show gets on my list on one of the bunch. I st I'll stop trying to get into this. I'll just watch the episode and say, eh, you're nothing special. Nothing more, nothing else. I'm sorry, Sylvia. I tried, but I couldn't. Alright. <laughs> Wait, what episode was it that you hated again? Dentist. The dentist. Yeah, did, uh, that, yeah. It was kind of so That's odd. a very passionate friend. God I, damn it! I, I'm only human! I, I, I'm, try I'm trying to comprehend... How could the dentist be so bad? I've seen. I felt. I felt season one. I liked it. I mean, I um, the, if, for all, of all the episodes I've seen, the one is sad. Jake was actually the, the worst episode. Mm -hmm. Sad, yeah, sad, sad face. face. Episode. Oh, yeah, I hate sad face. That was the that was the most boring episode. But I didn't mm -hmm. find the I personally didn't find the dentist boring. In part, wherein um, the show did had a significant plot and it added some um. Well, uh, it added some uh, some bits that uh, that are main that are main um, that will be part of the continuity from that point on. And yeah, um, Tiffany um, did get what he deserved, which is probably understandable in part because he's played by Colin Dean, who, if everybody and any of you don't know, he plays Greg in Over the Garden yes, Wall. Yes, I recognize. Oh. I I thought to myself, I think that's the same guy as Greg. So, that, so, oh, that's so that was surprising. Uh, yeah. So, um, his um, what happened to him at the end uh, at the dentist is more like a send off to not just the character but also the voice actor. Considering Colin well, Dean, I think said, is they did say that he was only missing an action. That doesn't really mean that he died. He might have just cut his way out anyway. And um, you never know. Never know. 
There's also like um, all of these theories regarding what happened with uh, Is That You? And then in part with the dentist episode as to what significant role the fin sword will play since we since in is that you it's and which was foreshadowed in the episode breezy um, oh yeah it's basically an ultimate yeah um yeah in, in the episode of breezy where breezy was raising a, a piece of wood um finn was hallucinating it was princess bubblegum granting him a new sword and the sword is in the shape of the fin sword he eventually gets okay. so um uh some people are the are now making theories that considering we know that the Finn sword is just an alternate or is just basically Finn from another universe or another timeline that um there's going to be there's a significant implications of what would that mean in future episodes would that mean number one would it mean that um at one point Finn dies and the sword takes his place as the new Finn um what well, I even theorize that that would be more like um, if they decide to make Adventure Time as a long-term series, because um, whatever, whether you like it or hate it, Adventure Time is Cartoon Network's flag, flagship um, series, wherein mm -hmm. Nickelodeon's got SpongeBob, SpongeBob. Disney's got Phineas and Ferb. What do, do, do those two shows have in common is that they're pretty much going to show for like over a decade. Uh, I don't think Adventure it Time, time will. Adventure if, Time has has a tendency being Cartoon Network's flagship series has a tendency and becoming one of their most one of Cartoon Network's most popular um, IPs. There's a good chance that that would that would that same would happen to that is that it's gonna go for over ten years. And mm. personally, that concerns me because um, it would mean that it would mean that the rest of the seasons will probably be standalone and have no um, mm. contribution to the overall plot because mm. um Kinda the like original SpongeBob. yeah like spongebob it's gonna be like spongebob in a way and that concerns because unlike the other shows this one has a bit of continuity and we do see finn do grow up and i don't know how will that um transpire as the series progresses would we, we actually <laughs> see in other words would we actually see finn grow up in his 20s and to be played again by uh, jonathan frakes which did oh, you know, the episode dream. four no, yeah, the dream. And, but um, wait, that what said, episode? wait, what? In Kahoy. Oh, oh yeah. Hello world. That wait, wait. That, that was Jonathan Frakes. Yes. yes. Jonathan Frakes played the played the played the um the adult, adult fin, fin and old man fin. Um, it's been I'm noted sorry, my that brain. The, oh, my brain is hurting now. Even it's more noted. More. I, I hate to go further, but it's noted that in uh, the Adventure Time staff and crew are big fans of the star trek and the office series and they've been clamoring for these actors on like those george two shows takei. Actually, like george takei J uh, jonathan frakes michael dorn i haven't i don't I, I don't watch the office i don't know if any of the office ricky gervais oh my god ricky gervais in the veg time be fucking oh hilarious. yeah oh yeah oh, that, would god, that would be perfect, perfect. That would be perfect. That would adventure time writers if you're if somehow they listening ricky to this gervais podcast in the office, make that happen the office yeah. the AT. All right, there, Ben. Yeah, yeah, Jay, little, little dog. No, bit yellow. Not saying it's cowardly. Just you know, color he is like custard. I think that's what it'd be like. <laughs> that would be perfect. That's, that's my impression. Yeah, but I don't think I. I know that Adventure Time is a Cartoon Network's flagship show, but I think they're a bit smarter than that. I think maybe it'll end and then it'll continue with like mini episodes, yeah, like C during C commercials. CGI spinoff. No, oh, oh hell no, no. <laughs> but I don't. I think Cartoon Network will end it at some point, but maybe like continue it with mini episodes during commercials. It wasn't there supposed to be an Adventure Time movie? Like yeah, but that, like yeah. Yeah. that was during season five. But that's why season five was so long because after a while they just scrapped it, which is why they extended season five. Oh, so wait, is season six only going to be like? No, it's supposed normal? to be. It's supposed to be longer than a normal season, but it's not going to be as near as many episodes as season five. Okay. We're, we're already up to like 26, I counted yesterday, or 25 or something. 23? No, 22 is uh, December 4th, 22nd episode. 22nd, okay, yeah, then. <clears throat> but it's, not, it's going to be longer than a normal season, but not fi season five long. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> are, we, are we done with Adventure Time? 
Yep, yeah. I think so. I hope so. I will say that this week has renewed hope for me for the series because before mm. there was just so many bad episodes. <laughs> I was getting well, wait, really pissed off. Wait, what? <laughs> what other episodes were bad other than Princess Day and? Oh, uh, like the fucking episode where Jake's um, tail goes. Okay, other than that, we all know. Yeah, that, we all know that was bad. Any any other ones that, like other than that? It's oh, amazing. James James too. Oh. Oh, I didn't like that one either. Yeah. Oh, no, no, James. Oh yeah. shit! And um, again, there wasn't like enough like cohesion. The episodes just kind of like dropped things straight away, which annoyed me. Without having any like properly good standalone episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the cooler next week is supposed to bring back Flame Princess and Princess Bubblegum, so... Oh, oh please tell me Cinnamon Bun's not gonna be there. I, I mean, either. Uh, that, that's what, that's what pissed me off about Jake the Brick. I hated that cameo. I almost felt like crushing my team when I saw that. Am I the only one who, like... Well, wait, do you guys hate Cinnamon Bun because, like... Yes. Like, what he's doing now, or, like... Before, like, no, was, now, now, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah. before yeah. I thought he was stupid. I, I thought he was really funny. Yeah, but they, I don't hate his character. I just hate the way. I just hate his development in this. Yeah, he series. infuriates me. Yeah. He's a tiny side character. He's not really like. No, but they did this. Um, oh really? They did this side character. Term, this why character. did he end up with the character? Why did he end up with the main character's girlfriend and quite possibly the most stupidest plot twist? Or just well, I guess. Pop on no. I agree, man. Until I, until I saw, um, until I saw what was what was recently that? Oh, uh, until I saw, I think. Fuck, I'm trying to figure it out. What? I mean, it, I mean, George. This is basically the problem with the, with AT's biggest flaw is that unlike other shows that I know that like Over the Garden Wall. Um, I hate to compare it, but um, Adventure Time actually is a mix of several different story borders, and not just the main um, the, the the main story borders like um, Perpich or Moynihan or War Pendleton Ward, um, and that becomes an issue. Is that because you have different story borders working in different episodes, um, and they have to actually get the ideas from the from the previous story border. And then put them in that direction that the previous store border may or may not like. It's similar to our conversation a few weeks ago regarding Doctor Who, with, with um, Russell T. Davis um, um, building up all of this um, the story building with uh, with with uh, the ninth and tenth Doctor, and then Stephen Moffat came up came over and in a way as Jack I, I forgot what Jack what you said Jack about it, but in a way he messed it up yeah. really oh, bad. Yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah. this is the same case with with Adventure Time. So we have these different storyboards, and now there um, are not. Uh, I think I, I can't confirm it, but there are um, handing out auditions for brand new storyboarders for the series. In part because some of the uh, many of the storyboarders who are now working with Adventure Time are leaving the show um, to work on Clarence. Mm, so interesting. Uh, they better not bring any more CEO Kims, because then I will flip. Uh, so she's been, she's been she's been getting better, but I hate her with my gut. But she's a chick who did Princess Day. Yes, and uh, and, I hate her. Too, yeah, and, I hate. and Frost and Fire. No, okay, I'm, now I'm I'm Earth fine. and Water. Okay. Earth and Water. I'm sorry, Earth and Water. This okay, this is one thing. Fun. This is one thing. And Box Prince. This is one thing oh, that whenever whenever I tell any Adventure Time fan, they always turn on me and. I always say I hate this character, and I don't know why, but I'm sorry if you guys like it, but I despise Tree Trunks. Oh, I love Tree Trunks. I don't know who that Aww. fuck is her. He's so sweet, but like so... I, I don't, I, she just annoys me for some reason. I like Tree I don't Trunks. Know why. Tree Trunks is it's cool. Like, I mean, she's she's like, like, she, Tree Trunks as a side character is actually lovable. But I don't like her when she becomes the main character in an episode. Exactly. I think they, yeah. they did one or two episodes of her as a main character. Yeah. But as a side exactly. character, like a dream as a supporting of character, she does a very good job at it. Exactly. Um, it's a uh, it's a side character works as a side character. If the side character yes. gets more screen time than the main character, then because the side character doesn't have that much development, it depends on who which side character or characters we're talking about, like. Uh, I think there was an episode, I, I'm not sure if there was, but like the episode with, uh, focused on uh, PB and uh, R Princess Rainicorn, that worked because those two, it wasn't just their daily lives, they were doing something sig significant to the plot, they were actually 
they actually had characters and they actually worked off each other. If it's just one singular character who does practically nothing throughout the series, then I don't see the point. Of, like, I can see why people will be ticked off with that idea. Mm. Okay. Um, okay, I think it's time to move on from Adventure Time. Yeah.